You're live. That's it. Hey, what's up, everybody? Chris Souter, Slender Cat Outdoors with Harley Neal from Harley's, uh, Harley Neal's YouTube channel. <laughs> channel there you go <laughs> and uh also roger demand jr from muskrat musk rat adventures that's it say hello everybody hello everybody hello everybody <laughs> hey uh, i want to thank you guys for joining us tonight if this is your first time say joining the channel then uh <laughs> <laughs> first time Whoopsie. live streamer what's <laughs> he i got yeah. a commercial right in the middle of it <laughs> we'll be back after these messages yeah <laughs> If this is your first time joining the channel, I want to thank you guys. Make sure that you guys, if you like the information we give out, to give us a chance and hit that subscribe button, notification bell, so you guys can be notified of when we do go live and we do new, put new videos out. Um, also, if this is your first time joining the channel, make sure you guys are leaving the comments or your questions down in the comments uh, as we go through. Uh, Old Tech over here, he had some big idea. <laughs> he's like, he's like, look what I got. I got a tablet. We're going to be able to read and chat. It's going to be supersized. It, it's not working. It's not working. <laughs> Let's just back him up a minute ago. Up until about a minute ago, he was really excited about being able to see. I was. I was going to be able to see the chat. But, uh, but hey, we're just hanging out here in the garage tonight. We're going to talk about some upcoming events, uh, some things that a lot of us in the catfishing industry are excited about. Um, you know, uh, Columbus Fishing Expo in Columbus, Ohio was this yeah. past weekend. Uh, Roger was there. Uh, unfortunately, Harley was not able to make it. But I, I personally loved it. Uh, this is yeah. my sixth year of going and doing seminars and stuff. It was the place that I've done my first seminar. Um, and I, I love it. I love seeing the growth. Uh, you know, what was, was this uh, probably one of it, your first years going? Oh, no. I've been, I've been going to it probably just as long six seven okay. years okay uh, but the growth for catfishing has like last two years has just boomed it I mean, has, it has, yeah. it uh, has. you know seeing um, you know Caleb and and big cat fever uh, or catch fever down there and uh, well you went live with about yeah with about everybody so I mean there was a lot to choose from a lot to look at so it was it was refreshing to see from from a catfisherman's point of view uh, absolutely the, yeah. and I've got an observation about the thing uh, I've been friends with Chris for many years here, and I can remember about four or five years ago when you'd see Chris on like a live feed or even on his YouTube channel starting out. I watched this guy go from pretty much infancy to David Letterman esque. Now, this, oh yeah, so <laughs> oh, call, yeah. <laughs> this dude's just none of it smooth these days. You're gonna, you really, you. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna do a high five. Don't make it weird. <laughs> No, uh, I'm going to quit commenting now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is allowed to be a good night, folks. Uh, I just wanted to I wanted to do something fun tonight, nothing serious. Uh, but as always, if you guys make sure you guys can see us good, uh, hear us good, all that good stuff, um, you know. But uh, it's going to be fun. I don't know a whole lot about It's hard to say what's going to happen tonight. Let's be serious <laughs> about it. But, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so a couple things coming up. Uh, Got the catfish conference coming up, Harley? Yeah, boy. Yeah, you going? We, yes, I'm going to be there uh, Thursday night, Friday, and Saturday. We've got a uh, a veritable caravan of people going down. <laughs> We're going to be there for the whole darn thing, taking in all the you know all the speakers and everything, and uh, who knows what else we'll get into. Now, this is not your first time going to catfish conference. No, this will be like okay. my third one, yeah. So for somebody that's watching the channel, uh, what would you, you know, how would you describe the atmosphere, what it should be, you know, if somebody's coming down for one day or two days, uh, would you highly recommend it? Would you say come down for the whole thing? Would you, you know, there's a lot of good speakers, a lot of good stuff that's going to be going on. Let, you know, you describe it to them and, and. Well, the first thing, if I had to sum it up and work in like two words would be like family reunion. Yeah. Because yeah. the social aspect of it is just tremendous. You know, people get together and, uh, like me, you know, my YouTube channel is taking off a little bit right now. I've got a lot of folks that I chat with on there. I'm looking forward to talking to you. You guys see me, stop me and say hi because I want to know who you are. Yeah. And we're going to hang out and we're going to chat. That part is just tremendous, you know, getting to visit with all the people. Uh, if you're looking for new products, uh, you know, things of that nature, if you are looking to hear some really top-notch speakers talking about the catfish industry, how they do it, and then take in every seminar you can if you can make it a two-day event i know the friday thing is a little rough on folks you know a lot of folks have to work on friday so but saturday plan on being there all day and uh, it's 
It's fun. a tremendous event. It really it is. is. People people look forward to this all year long. I know I do. I, I think speaking for oh, you guys, yeah, absolutely. I can't we wait for CatCon. Man. I can't wait. Yeah. I got my I got new insoles for my boots. So I'm yeah. ready to go. Yeah. Well, yeah. you're down like ten pounds since the yeah. Columbus thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This this expo season's putting uh, helped me on my weight loss uh, program. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's going to be. Uh, Jeff Jones Marines and another boat manufacturer. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, there's going to be. Sea Arc going to have boats. Oh, absolutely. Sea Arc will have boats there. Yeah. Uh, you know, every major boat you know manufacturer will be there. Um, lots and lots of boats for you guys that want to come down and check out. You know, uh, it, I understand. I you know, I've bought two Sea Arcs, and you know, it's personal preference. You guys are going to spend a lot of money on a boat. This is a good place to come and check everything out, see what you like. If you're like my wife, you like all the little, do, you know, the little things, you know, like, <laughs> like, like uh, you know, my wife will get in and she'll roll, she'll, you know, I'll roll the, the windows the down. Okay, sorry. And, and, you know, get in a truck and like, it doesn't have a CD player. Does She's into accessories. And yes. stuff. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We all are. Yeah, I, like, yeah. I like all them little nooks and crannies and bells and whistles. <laughs> yeah. All that. Yeah. The so, same, same thing goes for for looking for catfish rods and reels. You know, it, it's hard to go online and, and look at one and say, you know, that's for me. Uh, at the catfish conference, man, you got yeah. the opportunity to go by and, and go pick them up, shake them, uh, whatever you, whatever you do with them to, to make you decide. And the same goes for reels. You can bitch your hands on them. Yeah, uh, kind of try it before you buy it. So that's yeah. So correct me if I is it catch the feeder that's got the uh, fishing simulator? simulator? Yes. Oh that yeah. Thing looks awesome. Hey. That is a blast. I know Roger <laughs> had a little guest that he took with him up there yeah. and had had it put up a video and get a chance to look at his channel. Uh, at this kid reeling in and looked like a big old uh, mahi mahi it, actually. Wells catfish, aren't it? Was it a no, Wells cat? His one the Wells that uh, was uh, Bonita. Was it Bonita? Yeah, it's a but, Bonita. But to watch this kid fight this thing, and I guess everybody gets on it. The first thing oh, they say is, "It's tougher than I thought it was." It is. Was. It is. It's so a I, blast. So I talked to Cable a little bit, uh, Caleb, and uh, those guys burn up two reels already. <laughs> oh, have they? On yeah. that thing, yeah. yeah. Well, he. I asked him Sunday. I was gonna. I had a little boy that come to the seminar, and he wanted to go do it. Yeah. And uh, he told me he had burned up his reel that weekend. You know, from all the kids getting on it, so it puts a hurting on a reel. I would imagine. How, wonder how much, what, what kind of reels they use, and how many pound drags they got. You know, I, I don't know. It's it's it you know a, real like you know. It was a two hundred fifty dollar reel. It was, was top it, of the line. Cotty? It might have been. Yeah. So yeah, but uh, Doc says you're so. burying yourself, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Doc. Hey, thanks for watching, Doc. Yeah. Do we have any questions in there yet, uh, Roger? Uh, a lot of chit chat back and forth. In case you guys are wondering, I'm I'm not just. Talking to my wife on the phone. I'm, <laughs> yeah, he's going through chat. You know, I'm trying since... to keep keep things going. So if you guys have questions or, or comments you want us to to talk about, just throw it in there. I'm going to try to keep us on track. So a couple of things I wanted to go over real quick about the Catfish Conference. Um, talked to Steve a little bit earlier today, and you know he's super excited about seeing everybody come down. Uh, you know, as, as far as we are, and I know there's a lot of people looking forward to it. A lot of questions about who who the seminar speakers are, the times. Uh, what days, things like that. So uh, for anybody that is, you know, has questions like that, if you have specific questions that I don't touch on, make sure that you, uh, you know, put at Chris Souders in the chat and it'll pop up. I will pop up on yours like that. No, it, it won't. might not. No, it won't, but he'll be able to see yeah, it. I'll catch but, it. So uh, times, Friday uh, be February the what 21st 21st and 22nd uh, so friday february 21st is 9 a.m to 7 p.m uh, saturday the 22nd is 8 a.m to 7 p.m got some excellent speakers uh some that i am i am absolutely looking forward to uh one of my favorite guys somebody i've looked forward to i would say both of these guys probably uh you know learned a lot from is doc doc's in the yeah. chat tonight and he's going to be talking about channel cats one of the best channel cat fishermen you'll ever see, and just plainly one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. Yeah. He is, and he's a, a snail hooking dude too. Man. Yes, he is. He's Roger, a, Roger Roger got him to the side at the Columbus Expo and had him show how to do the snail knot. So yes. if you get to hit Roger's channel, learn how to do that. But yeah, yeah. Doc's Doc's a, a, a plethora of information. 
plethora. Plethora. <laughs> busting out big words. Yes, yeah, I have. Yeah. Yeah. You get out, buddy. Right yeah. No, I know, man. That's why I get so excited when we get on the air here. <laughs> Dag, you know, uh, we're excited. probably liable to go like two hours tonight if we get talking. <laughs> so, a couple other of the speakers. This is Friday. Uh, Doc will be talking Friday about channel cats. Uh, at 11 a.m., you got Matt Catman Jones. Going to be talking about flatheads. Uh, 1 p.m., Josh Russell, Marine Products. He's going to be talking about sonars. Um, I know I get a lot, a lot of questions about sonars. Yeah. And, you know, this is a good place that you guys can go. I'm sure he's going to have, uh, you know, plenty of detailed pictures and stuff for you guys to see. He may even have a, you know, something that you guys can actually go and do. I don't know for sure, but. Take your unit. Yeah. Is that the guy that done yours? No, that was fuzzy with Humminbird there, but they had, they had a whole display set up, and I, I took my Helix down, and he plugged it in and ran through it and everything. Now, I don't know if Matt's going to be doing that. Uh, Josh. Or, or Josh, yeah. okay. Uh, if well, they're going to do that or not, you might want to check. Uh, dr send a message to uh, Steve there at Catfish Conference and see if he'll get back with you about that, you know, whether or not, if he knows what kind of display they're going to have. Okay. Or so before you get hopping out on there, there's a couple questions in chat. Um, Charlie Hubbard uh, wanted to know, he was questioned about the number of rods changed on the Ohio shore. Uh, uh, yes. So we were just talking about this earlier. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I'll let you answer that if you want. Yeah. So what it comes down to is it's, a, it's now a three rod limit, but it's, it's every county that touches the Ohio River. So uh, I don't know my counties well enough. Well, it, 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 to simply put, it's, it, if, if land hits the Ohio River, you can use three rods. And if it hits the Lake Erie, it's three rods. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, the other question was, I lost it because my screen turned here, was um, uh, mm -hmm. Buddy Beal. I messed that up, I'm sorry. But uh, what, <laughs> what advice would you give somebody who's just getting into tournament catfishing? Oh, this is a good one, huh? Because yep. you got somebody mm -hmm. like myself that's tournament uh, experienced. And then you yep. fish a few tournaments. Harley's fished a few tournaments. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, we'll just all three answer this uh, separately. What before before we do that, with yeah. our own inputs, J Jason Massengill and Alex Nagy are going to be talking on uh, Saturday at 5 p.m. They're going to be going over. Yep. Yeah. Over uh, tournaments. So that's over tournaments. Yeah. That's so that, one. that's one you want to get on your uh, on your uh, yeah. schedule so, to, Harley? to see. Uh, I don't fish many tournaments. Frankly, I don't enjoy tournaments. Yeah, I don't. I, I find tournaments very stressful. Uh, they're not my style of fishing. They're fun, you know. I mean, if, if you can turn it into that, but I, I get too stressful. I'm kind of a wound up kind of dude. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> but no, as far as going out tournament fishing, then nah, they're they're not really for me. So I mean, yeah, that, that's just kind of the way I feel. I admire what you did. I know you were worn to a nub running yep. around a couple years, you know, yep. all over the U.S. doing tournaments and everything. But I don't particularly do them. Maybe. Maybe if I get older and slow down one of these days, that may be way down the line. <laughs> but uh, nah. getting older is not way down. It's yeah. not way down. Hopefully, the line. getting older is down the line. <laughs> you know, but uh, I don't. I don't enjoy them. I just tournaments are not for me. Competitive yeah. fishing to, to me, fishing is fishing for the joy of it. Okay. No, I mean, boy, I, you, you got all these tournament I'm, guys over here. I'm on the I'm on the other side of the spectrum. I actually do enjoy uh, the tournament fishing, um, but for me, I don't. I don't get hardcore serious about yeah. it you know i'm i really enjoy going down and for me you know because i am still new um uh, i go to learn you know yeah. and it, even if you don't fish a tournament you could go to the weigh-ins and learn a lot absolutely and, and for me it's just been that i've only done a handful of tournaments um but for the most part the camaraderie between everyone uh you know the 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 game involved with it, with uh, you know, getting out and finding it, and trying to keep things secret or hush, which I'm not very good at keeping secrets. <laughs> uh, but for me, I, I enjoy it. I, I find it, I find it to, to be fun. I'm competitive, so yeah, uh, it, it scratches that itch. Yeah. So for me, I mean, I guess I, it kind of answers itself, and I love tournament fishing. Uh, I'm very competitive. Uh, I can, when it comes down to it, I can hold stuff in and, you know, I am a tight lipped person till, till after game day. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, uh, if you're going to tournament fish, um, you know, ask yourself a question, you know, you have to, you know, you have to be willing to either go to me. It's kind of like an all in or nothing. Uh, if you're going to tournament fish, you've got to be able to put into work. Um, you know, especially in this day and age, because, 
guys, you know, I when I go to a tournament, I want to beat you, plain and simple. I, I have <laughs> zero mercy. I, you know, and 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 it's nothing bad. No, I don't. You know, don't mean that in a bad that's way. The, that's the way no, you yeah. play the game. Bro. If these two was fishing to tournament against me, I'd love them to death. But game day, I, I'm beating you, yeah. plain and simple. And you and you got to put forth the effort and put forth the work. So just uh, work hard. If you if you you know go try a few of them, try a few small ones. If you enjoy it, hey, hit it hit it hard, yeah. and uh, and love it. You know, um, because hard work pays off and when it pays off and you're standing up there and you're in the top five or you're winning your top three uh it feels so good you know it, it it's good so let, let me back up and renege just a little bit i didn't like tournament fishing in, in the past because why i wouldn't catch them any fish yeah. i mean i hadn't been catfishing very long i've been after you know three or four years now i could almost get into it now because Hanging out with you, for one thing, has helped tremendously. You've, you've ground some stuff into my head, and I'm finally kind of getting it and finally, finally. catching some, Yeah, finally. <laughs> finally. Maybe, maybe not. But, you know, I, I may get into it a, a little bit sometime and, yeah. uh, you know, see what's happening out there. But, you know, try a few. Have fun and see what happens. Yeah, but but be ready if you go out and if, if – there's so much information and there's so many good teachers out there now to show you how to tournament fish, how to have better, uh, better luck fishing. <laughs> Tune in Tackle Talk Tuesday every Tuesday night yeah. and uh, – Watch the shows. You can learn so much just just by the information that's available, and have a better chance of going out and being successful in a tournament. I've never had. I mean, I did place third in a tournament a couple of years ago. That was the best I ever did. That felt pretty darn good. But if if you go out consistently lose and pay, you know, the guy standing on the number one podium, <laughs> it can't be fun. You know, you you have to be you have to be ready. You have to have your game. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully that helped that question. Uh, we got another question from Willie Cahoon. Uh, Willie uh, asks, do I switch up my gear to lighter gear if I'm targeting channel cats, correct? Yep. And absolutely. I, I you know, downsize my line. You know, uh, I use 30-pound line whenever I'm chasing channel cats, uh, smaller hooks, 5 aught hooks, uh, even smaller reels, medium heavy rods. So, yeah. Yeah, on that. Um, is there any more questions? Yep. What we got? One more real quick. Uh, Dalton Driver asks, for someone getting into tournaments with a boat with a small live well, uh, what would be the minimum size gallon live well that you would build? 60. Uh, 60 is the minimum. Um, and I, I really feel passionate about this, and I'm going to be a little, I guess, hard about this one. Uh, if you don't have a legitimate live well, unfortunately, I feel like you should not fish that tournament. If you feel like you can fish that tournament and be successful and, uh, you know, you never know when that big fish is legitimately going to hit and you want to have a, have a live well that's sufficient enough to, to keep, uh, keep it alive. And so 60 gallon is sufficient as long as, you know, you got pure oxygen, uh, you know, you can pump water in and out. You can, when they start pooping and puking, you can get that water out and get new water in. So uh, last one here, I kind of, because I actually run a pontoon, uh, at times is uh, Scott Rader asked, uh, looking for to buy my first boat around $4,000 budget. Uh, what do you think about pontoons? Oh, uh, so I like them. I, I love pontoons. I've got a, a big old pontoon that uh, my buddies will tell you is, is uh, just fantastic having that extra room. Uh, I will tell you that, uh, now I'm not sure if you like fishing, river fishing, tournament fishing, uh, but I run my boat on the river and it's 30 foot long. Uh, but anchoring in river with much current, uh, uh, that would be tough. 30 that's, foot. That's longer than Terry Rogers boat. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, it's great. It's, 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 it's good when you can get that thing to hook up and sit sideways. Cause we turn it sideways and fish all off one side. I got all my rod and holders on one side. Uh, and it, we love it, but getting it to sit tight and, uh, and, and much current is a, is a chore. Yeah, so yeah, that would be a chore. They uh, are, they're a fishing platform, man. Yeah, they really are. Well, uh, let's go through the, I'm going to touch on the rest of these seminars for the Catfish Conference. Um, so, again, on Friday, uh, 3 p.m., uh, or 1 p.m., we left off with uh, Josh Russell. He's going to be doing the ones on the sen uh, sonars. But uh, 3 p.m., uh, my man John Newell from Regular Dude Fishing. If you guys do not uh, know who Regular Dude Fishing is or J. Newell Zero, go over to YouTube. Check them out, uh, J. Newell Zero and Regular Dude Fishing. Uh, but he's going to be doing a seminar on baitology, uh, which is... <laughs> I didn't you know, know that was a word. I didn't either. John's got like a him. degree in that. John's got a degree in baitology. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> but, uh, but I'm sure that's going to be some good information, so make sure you check him out. 
And then Saturday, uh, we got Jamie Hughes. He's going to be talking at 9 a.m. about uh, flatheads. Uh, 10 a.m., which this is a good one I'm, I'm kind of excited for. You got Aaron Wheatley, Paula Smith, and Ken Smith. They're going to be touching on conservation. Um, whoever that was that was talking about the live well, if you have any questions about it, one, I'll be at the Extreme Booth. Uh, we'll have some uh, live wells and stuff there that you can come check out. Another one, another good one to talk to is Aaron Wheatley. He runs Monsters on Ohio, which uh, he's sporting the logo right there for Monsters on Ohio. <laughs> so, you know, check him out. You know, he, he does a lot with conservation. He knows a lot about tournament and keeping fish alive. So check him, uh, ask him questions. Uh, 11 a.m., here's another very good one. Uh, we have a live Q&A for the ACA, which is the American Catfish Association, for everybody that has had a lot of questions, uh, wondering what's going on, you know, who's, what, where, when, and everything with the ACA. Now would be your chance to ask them questions and get answers. They're there. Uh, they have to answer you. You know, they can't get away from you, okay? Uh, five, <laughs> 5 p.m., uh, you got Jason Massengill, which is a catfishing machine. Yeah. And then uh, Alex Nagy, which is another really, really solid, good dude that can catch some fish. He's, he runs uh, an absolute great tournament uh, up on kind of like the, I guess, middle of the United States, Mississippi River, northern Mississippi area uh, called Twisted Cats. If mm -hmm. you guys are in that area, check out Twisted Cat Outdoors if you want to go fish some good tournaments, okay? Uh, but they're going to be uh, talking about uh, what tournament uh, how to get started in tournaments, tournament, tournament etiquette, yeah. tournament etiquette, etic etic getting ready, a, a lot yeah. of good information there. And oh, one I forgot, uh, we're, Steve has set up a, a pro panel of three professional fishermen, and this is super exciting for me. Uh, it's at 3 p.m., you got Jeff Dodd, Carl Morris Jr., if you guys don't know Jeff Dodd, nickname Big Daddy, Jeff Dodd, um, he likes to move some baits. He's from the Mississippi River. Carl Morris Jr., one of the winningest men in catfishing, period, yeah. has taken more of my money than I care <laughs> to agree with, okay? Uh, man can fish and catch some fish and win some tournaments. And then David Shipman, which is another absolute good cat fisherman, has won a lot of tournaments, um, has been around the game for probably longer than I've been before I had diapers on. Okay, so uh, I get to ask them questions. All those questions that I do not like to get asked in those <laughs> real, real specific questions, yeah. those are the questions I'm going to ask those guys. And also, I'm going to ask questions from the crowd. So uh, if you are thinking about that, make sure you do that. So that's the information for the Catfish Conference. I hope that everybody can make that. Yeah. All right, we got some questions rolling in, and this this is kind of fun. So, uh, all right, Earl Wellington asks, and I know the answer, but uh, and Chris, what is the best bait for the high river right now? Shad, Shad baby. Shad, Shad baby. Shad. How big? <laughs> How big, Harley? The, as that big, as big, big as you could get them. <laughs> Biggest and bloodiest. And, yep. Yeah. Now, yeah. Why, why do I say that, Harley? Well, you've been saying that for years and years, and <laughs> I've been catching some little bitty old shad. But you know what? When you when you get and Roger. I, I, let me just tell you a story. Pull up a chair, kids. Pull up a chair. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know it's getting deep. Yeah, it's getting deep. Chris has been preaching bait, freshness of bait, the four bait groups, you know, for the last four or five years that I've, I've been hanging out and chatting with him. Bait, 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 bait is important. And having the right bait at the right time of the year. But, I mean, if, if you're on a deserted island, well, you're going to be salt water. But let's, let's pretend like it's fresh water. If you have one bait, shad. Gizzard the shad. Biggest, and... And I'm going to tell you guys a secret right now. You can write this down and you can live by this too. If you want to be successful at catfishing, don't rush out. Get on your hole. Start fishing with whatever bait you got handy. If it takes half a day to get good quality bait, do that. Because yep. once you start doing that and you throw the very best bait you can get, bait, I've, I've seen this guy stand up for two hours on, on the deck of this boat, chunking a net, chunking a net. And I wake up from my nap, and he's still up there chunking a net, chunking a net, and you know, eventually, you know, sometimes, help. yeah, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Thanks, Harley. Yeah. Thanks for helping. <laughs> <laughs> and it finally dawned on me, you know, Chris is very successful doing this, and and why? Because he's getting the very best bait he can. If you if you take you anything away from this or anything from the cabin, it's all about that. It's all it's about all about that, that bait. bait. <laughs>
Hot that bait. Load that bait. Oh, what else we got? Oh man, we got a few. Uh, catting around outdoors. Ask Chris, how's your wife doing, buddy? Buddy, she's doing good. Uh, things so far have been good. Uh, and I've, I've had a lot of people ask this weekend at seminars and stuff. And I can't appreciate, say how much I, I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Everybody asking. Uh, she's doing good so far. Uh, keep in prayers coming and, and keep her in your thoughts. And, and uh, hopefully that cancer will stay away. Dwayne Rice says, how big is too big for live bluegill catfishing in the spring? Oh, boy. <laughs> How big a fish you want to catch? <laughs> well, I know in California they catch them, them big old bluegill. But, uh, man, I tell you what, I don't know about these two, but me, I, I'll take them as big as I can get them. Yep. In the springtime. Now in the springtime. Yeah. Yeah. You guys agree? Yeah. Yes. Uh, there you go. I like them. Like them big. Big. Like them. Uh, like them. <laughs> Is that T-H-I-C-C? <laughs> Don't driver said, Chris, did you say there was going to be live wells to look at at Catfish Conference? Yes. So uh, extreme bait tanks uh, will be there. We're going to have uh, many different tanks to look at, um, you know, but there should be a live well there uh, as long as, as well as like, you know, 20, 30, 40 gallon or 50 gallon uh, bait wells as, as well. Um, something else that's going to be there that nobody has really heard of yet. And I forgot to bring the bottle out here. Thanks a lot, Harley. <laughs> <laughs> Whiskey, <laughs> um, but uh, I have I have everything that's going to be uh, released down there. It's called uh, the Slunger Cat Premium uh, <laughs> Defoamer Bait Tank Defoamer. It's my own natural or my own blend of things that I've put together over the years. It's going to come in its own bottle. Uh, it'll be for sale the first time at the Catfish Conference. So uh, make sure you guys come over and check that out. Um, something real quick I wanted to talk about that goes along with uh, Extreme Bait Tanks is we had a contest that was gonna be coming up down there. Uh, gonna make some changes to it. Uh, yeah. You know, we're still gonna have a contest. Um, some details are gonna come out in the next few days about all that. It's gonna still be a great contest. We're actually gonna add some things to it and uh, some things for the kids that will be there on Saturday. We're gonna have like a little ducky uh, pool for the kids to come and pool. Uh, to get prizes, um, you know, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of different uh, things as well for for the adults to do. But uh, but yeah, so keep keep an eye out on Extreme Bait Tanks on uh, Facebook, my Facebook page. Uh, going to be sharing that within the next couple days. Thanks, Doc, for hitting that question up. Somebody was asking uh, where's the best place to stay down there, which Ooh. I'd imagine a lot of places are booking up pretty yeah. quick. Um, yeah. We've had our reservations for probably a month and a half. Uh, there's several hotels around that area. Um, and I'm glad I'm glad you guys mentioned that because I don't even have a hotel yet. What? Oh, you better get on the phone. I may be sleeping in my truck. Yeah. So when I look when I looked it up, I'm actually going to stay uh, on Indiana side. Um, oh really? Yeah, because yeah. the 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 hotels, if you look at them, the ones downtown give you actually it takes longer to get to the 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 convention center uh, than it did to be out of town and just take the highway straight in. Okay. So don't be don't be uh, thrown off by because I, when I first saw the the distance from um, the catfish conference, um, I thought, man, that's awfully far. We're on the other side of the yeah, river, yeah, it's but not, it's not. It's I, not I hop right on. Yeah. So yeah. don't be afraid to expand uh, expand your search, uh, especially if you're trying to save some money. Yeah, um, and uh, no, by the way, if if you haven't gotten it yet, you need to get on the phone and start checking it out because. I wish Doc Lang were here because Doc would have that little countdown. <laughs> Doc would be able to Doc do it. Would be, he'd, he'd, he'd say it's eight days, fourteen hours, thirty-seven minutes or so. Doc, if you got it on your, uh, if you got it <laughs> on, got your, on phone, your phone, tell us. Tell us exactly how many <laughs> down to the seconds, how many it is, because yeah, we know well, you got it. Yep. He he did. He mentioned the uh, Ramada Plaza, and he said about seventy bucks a night. So that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, pretty good. So, so a couple other things. Uh, you got the messages. I see yeah, I sure do. Here. Right here. Let's see it. Okay, so I uh, wanted to touch on some tackle. Uh, lots and lots of vendors. Got every rod company, major rod company yeah. uh, down there. You know, you guys know I'm, I'm a Warrior Cat fan. Uh, you got, I don't what rod you use? I'm using bottom dwellers. They're right. not going to be there. No, they won't be there. Nope. You use Big Cat it? Fever, right? Yeah. Yep. Nope. We'll talk hard. <laughs> What was that? Night, <laughs> Nightstick, <laughs> Nightstick X. Nightstick X. Oh, God. Oh, glow, glow Stick. Glow, glow Stick X. X. God, Any Glow that. Stick people out there watching right now? I need, I need a uh, sponsorship. <laughs> I but, uh, 
but yeah, so there's going to be a, a tackle bandit is going to have a lot of lot of tackle down there. They'll be carrying the warrior cat rods. Uh, new uh, new demon dragons going to be down there. New collars. Uh, new, yep, yeah. new collars. Uh, just about anything you could ever think of. Super good sales on all their pin. Uh, I know a lot of people have been asking me about reels. Um, good places to buy them, sales, stuff like that. Tackle Bandit, Nate, Dav Nate Davis is going to have super, super good deals down there. Yeah. So make sure you check that booth out um, as well. Uh, for Oh, also, uh, I will have some merchandise down there as well, but it'll be an extreme booth. So Slunder Cat yep, stuff. Some Slunder Cat stuff will be there, be there for everybody that's been asking uh, about everything on that. I've got a question here. It, isn't there going to be like a, is there going to be a YouTube hour or a meeting place or something? Because there's going to be some, I mean, Chris has got a pretty good side. I mean, there's some guys like Luke from yep. Cats and Carp will be there. Uh, Chris Flores, I know, will be there. Uh, Old Dieter Metal. Dieter's going to be there. Hagen, uh, uh, Hagen, Hagen Grubbs. Grubbs. Yep. And uh, I, don't, I don't know if H there's going to be a meeting. Hagen just us in the chat, actually. Hey, Hagen, if you're in the channel... Uh, if you're watching tonight, make sure you let us know. I'm pretty sure I've seen on your Facebook page that he's, you're going to be at the Catfish Conference, but uh, let these guys know. I want to I yeah, he, say he's gonna be here. continue what you're doing. You're doing a wonderful job. I think you're doing a great job. Uh, you know, I enjoy watching your stuff. So anybody watching, make sure you guys go check out uh, Hagen Grubbs. It's, all, it, it's Landon. It's not Hagen so much as it is Landon. <laughs> <It's> Landon. <laughs> it might be. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's working. It's no working. Shoot, I had a couple questions here. One, a couple of folks uh, enlightened me that I may be paying tolls going across that bridge. So yes. you might want to just forget everything I just said. Yes, uh, I thought you knew that. No. Yeah, so if you, you go across it in the mail. Yeah, you get, a, you get them in the mail. Uh, for every time you go across the bridge, you get a toll. Yeah. It takes a picture and it'll send it to you. Oh, and, wow. and odds are it'll say you're late and you'll have to call and you'll have to figure that stuff out. Yeah. I've, I've been there. <laughs> yeah, I saw that a couple uh, years ago too. So I'm um, hang on here. I gotta get back to the question was about your formula. Um, is it is it just for removing foam or is there additives to uh, uh, preserve the water? I'm trying to find the. So oh, here we go. Is it defomer just a defomer, or is it water treatment as well? Will it be available at the Extreme website after CatCon? That's from DRTW Catfishing. So the uh, special formula that, that's, that's going to be in there, the main purpose of it is to help dissolve the foam. But there are, you know, other little things in there that are going to help um, the shad itself in, in calming down a little bit. So, uh, yes, there are some, are some things in there that I oh, don't... Oh, kill tap water. <laughs> oh, kill tap. <laughs> uh, but there are some things that I, I put in there... Um, you know that I don't really. You dip your finger in each one, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I dip my finger in it. But there you go. Uh, but yes. Uh, so, but the main purpose is just to defoam, uh, dissolve that foam from the water. Uh, Brett King asks, "What's the best LED lights to make your line glow?" And I used uh, black lights on the back of my boat, and I've got tons of compliments and questions about what in the world I'm using. And I just use the LED strips, uh, like off Amazon. Yeah, I think see. it's like. I think I paid like $18 for a, for a strip of that stuff. And I ended up, you know, putting it on a piece of wood. If anybody's interested, you can hit me up. Uh, I can show you what I did, but I'm, I can throw some pictures out there as well. That the, the black light for me, now I use slime line. I use... Um, I uh, use lighting bugs, just the so little lights that go on your pole. This is what those light strips will come in yep. from, uh, from Amazon and... They're super cheap. I think I bought this one for like six bucks. Or yeah, like so. six bucks or yeah. something. It'll come with this little plug on each end, but I just cut that off, and then you got just two wires exposed. Uh, the only downside is this stuff says it has a sticky backing. It's but you got to get some good 3M double-sided tape. But uh, but yeah, just check that, and you can get it in super yeah uh, like every color you can imagine. I think they even. <laughs> I believe they even got one that you had comes with a remote. Yeah, I've and got I've got remotes in mine. Oh, you got remotes in your color room? changing. Yeah, all just so you can yeah. you can turn the music up when the fish ain't biting and get <laughs> dancing, jam out. Now, Willie wants to know what kind of diet you're on. Oh, <laughs> it's that, walking a lot. <laughs> it's uh, I, I've just been getting up and moving, and uh, <laughs> it's a good start. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, uh, phew, man, I love Thanksgiving. And I love Christmas, but my belt buckle does not 
But uh, but yeah, just watching, kind of trying to watch what I eat and try to move a little bit more. They said it sounds like a, a shad diet. Uh, Doc says that <laughs> they, they must taste better when you bite the head off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> shad, shad. There's an idea for your contest for extreme. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. How, how many shad, how many can, shad you, can you eat and keep them down? Keep them down. Whew. Oh, Thirty hey, seconds Hagen, will probably win that. Hagen said he'll be there uh, probably both days. And awesome. thanks for the shout out, Chris. Oh, you're welcome, buddy. I I hope to see you down there. Uh, <laughs> if uh, for some reason, you know, you see me and I don't see you, make sure you grab a hold of me and say hello. Remember last time we saw Hagen? Yeah, we was on Taylorsville Lake. And Three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning. Sitting out there chatting. <laughs> I think I think we was the only two boats out there. I believe so. We're yeah. putting along. So like, hey, <laughs> you got a couple other guys in here like some glow sticks. So I, I, you might want to start a. You might want to start your own group. There you go. You can <laughs> actually lighten bugs. Uh, no, no, he's talking about the glow stick X. Oh, oh, you, okay. <laughs> I, I thought we were going back to the. Got it. There's yeah. been there's been a lot of. Uh, I don't know what it is. I mean, if you're a really good fisherman, you can catch fish on any old pole you got. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Heck, it don't matter what rod you got, but we're going to give you heck for using them glow stick oh, But eggs. you know what? The last time we went out, the first three fish came off that glow stick out of 10 yeah. or 11 fish sitting in hey, the back. But You uh, know what? Of course. You got a glow stick I up there? I could have swore I had one up there somewhere. I've got one, too, somewhere. <laughs> uh, a, lot of guys, a lot of guys complimenting the lightning bugs, and I'll tell you. Them uh, things are absolutely amazing. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I've, I've fell in love with them. First time I seen them, and, you know, it just gets your mind, you know, spinning. It's like, that was a crazy, that was a crazy idea. And look how much it has changed yeah. for all of us. And just, there's so many other things out there yet to be discovered that any of us have the potential to untap. So uh, keep your wheels spinning. I've got ideas up in here that I just don't want to know. Fish, fishing. Fishing. <laughs> <laughs> got any fishing ideas? <laughs> They're all fishing. Yeah, of course. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Hey, we're going to have to put a rating on this discussion yeah. here in a little bit. <laughs> Might have to cut this one short. <laughs> right. That's <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so, uh, I missed a couple here, so. Uh, let's see. Well, well, well if you got any more questions, yeah. About ten days from now, we'll see you guys. You can ask. You're gonna ask us live. Oh, uh, Chris will be all over the place down there. I do have one other thing that I forgot to mention. Um, so, at the Tackle Bandit booth, uh, the lady from Fitech Cast Nets will be there, and I will. I'm gonna set up a, a certain amount of time, and I'll be at the Tackle Bandit booth as well, doing a hands-on how to throw a cast net. So, if you and this is a one-on-one -on -one style thing. You know, so I done it last year at, at, at a booth and it worked out very, very well. So, you know, we'll do it again this year as well. So make sure you guys come over to the Tackle Bandit booth. I'll put out a a, uh, a schedule uh, for to let you guys know what time frame I'll be there. But And we can do show you guys how to throw a cast net. Would it, would it be rude to throw a cast net on the Catch the Fever live fishing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it would. <laughs> You're going to throw it on a kid, ain't you? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Major Brown was wanting to know uh, about the, about your show, Catfish Crazy, and uh, when it's when the premiere is. Okay, so Catfish Crazy, uh, if you guys haven't heard yet, um, it is a television show, first of its kind, one hundred percent about cat uh, catfishing and showing you guys how to catch more catfish. It's going to be premiering May fourth. May the fourth uh, be with you. May the fourth <laughs> be with you. I'll tell you remember that one. May the fourth be with you. Uh, it'd be on the Pursuit Channel. But do not stress if you don't have the Pursuit Channel. Um, shortly after it is aired on TV, it will be on the Catfish Crazy uh, YouTube channel. So make sure you guys go check that channel out. Subscribe to it for updates. As well as the Catfish Crazy uh, social media pages, Instagram, and all that good stuff. We're going to start amping up uh, you know, what we're doing as we're getting closer. Um, you know, Showing some little teasers of what we've been catching. Uh, I will say this much. One of the fish we caught during the show broke a scale. Uh, wow. So You dropped it? No, I did not. <laughs> I did not. Six pound scale. <laughs> it was a postage <laughs> scale. <laughs> postage. Okay, I'm kidding about that. Yeah. <laughs> Hagen remembers that night. He said, you guys and a thousand jug fishermen. Yes. Exactly right. Yes, uh, it was a lot of jugs out that night. Out there. And Willie, I agree. Whenever we get together, sparks a flock. That sounds weird. Yeah, <laughs> but now, we're just talking hey, about throwing ideas off now each Willie, other. Willie did tell me that you guys were going to get together 
now that uh, he doesn't have to have so much of that tackle stuff. So yep. I'm anxious to see where you guys go and what you guys catch. Uh, me too. It's going to be right. fun. I don't know what happens, but we're going to have fun. <laughs> uh, see. Now, uh, something else that uh, is coming up as well. The weekend after the Catfish Conference, I know a lot of people were excited about the Catfish Conference and what's going on there, will be the Cincinnati Fishing Expo. Um, the guy that has start that has been putting on the Columbus Fishing Expo for a few years has seen uh, how many cat fishermen and women and kids are coming into the industry, the growth in cat fishing, and has decided industry. that you know it is he is moving a you know fishing expo down to Cincinnati, yep. and at Cincinnati he is going to have a room specific for nothing but catfishing seminars and it's going to be called the catfishing college yeah so i am super excited about that i get to be a part of that you know uh, those seminars doc uh scott manning from tennessee river monsters um if you don't watch that channel make sure you go to tennessee river monsters dot com if you guys want a guide on the tennessee river or just uh, Scott, scott's awesome yeah, yeah he's scott's a good, good dude, dude. So a, many of the many of the vendors i talked to or ran into at the columbus fishing expo will be at the Cincinnati Fishing Expo here at the end of the month. So if you didn't make it or you didn't get enough or you're not broke yet after the Catfish Conference, <laughs> hit to Cincinnati. But look at all the shipping you save on the poles, yeah. man, just, just on yeah, the poles that's, alone. That's I mean, fact. if you go to one of these events and buy poles, you're saving $25 in shipping. Hey, that's, that's a lot of hooks, stuff's going to be on sale, too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's line. That's, you know, that's stuff that, you know, Combine if you're tight like me, that means a lot, yeah, you know. Kidding, buddy. Never Snag Anchors wants to know what size net you're throwing uh, and weight you're throwing this time of year for shad. So it depends. Uh, if I'm in Kentucky where I'm allowed to throw a big net, I throw a 10 foot, uh, one pound per foot, uh, one inch mesh. Um, you know, here in Ohio, we're only allowed a five and a half foot, but I still do the same thing. I still put a one, uh, one pound per foot, uh, one inch mesh size net. That way I can let the little ones escape and, uh, get down there kind of trap the big ones yeah. and uh, that's those are Phytech, uh gs 1000 uh, super spreaders i really like those nets they got a nice slip uh you know comfortable cuff that goes on your hand and then just everything just really fits good yeah that's a nice it. neoprene cuff like yeah. a like a wetsuit kind of yes yeah. yeah yeah those are nice uh, smoking big flatties if to... I love that name. <laughs> so, it, makes him, it makes him hungry. <laughs> Whoever that is that has smoking big flatties, I love that name. Yeah, so uh, if you want um, more pictures of uh, uh, that light setup, uh, look me up on Facebook, Roger DeMint Jr. or Muskrat Adventures, or baby. Muskrat Adventures, and yeah. I'll hook up with you through there. But uh, yeah, it, it's simple. I'm pretty simple, so it's not. He's dying. Go no, I, I, well, I, I'm just, I want to do you a favor. Remember Muskrat Adventures. Look that up on YouTube and subscribe to Roger's channel. We got him just over 100 here, uh, I don't know, a few weeks ago. And you're like yeah. 100 and a quarter. Drive him on up to 200. Yeah. I, want, I want his inbox to fire up with all those messages. Absolutely. Tonight. So a couple of folks asked in here if I'm going to be at the Catfish Conference and if I'm going to continue to record some, uh, some of the seminars. And I am. I will try to uh, bring some of that to you. I actually had some footage from uh, this weekend's uh, fishing expo and uh, I should be able to get that out here pretty soon. I'm kind of behind Because uh, I do everything from my phone. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, all my editing is done and posting from my phone So I'm a little slow. It's hard. It's hard to Film a seminar with all that background noise, you know, you get yeah. so much noise from you know So many people out there. It's it's hard to film it and make it sound good Actually, I've got uh, I'm thinking about taking my camera and stuff and I've actually got a wireless camera I'm gonna see if I can put up near the podium So maybe we you know we can pick up the, the speakers a little bit better. We'll, we'll see I have to talk yeah. to Steve or somebody about that uh, I, I plan on recording some of them. Stonefly asked if there's going to be a meet-and-greet in March this year um, That I don't know about uh, John and I talked about it and you know uh, with his schedule and my schedule and everything that's going on, you know, that may may go to the wayside. You know, John's bait business has, has really taken off. And, of course, with the show and everything that I got going on, you know, there's a possibility that that may not happen this year. I'm about ready to build a fire in here, man. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Cold! Hey. hey, Harley? It says, if you could fish, Chris, says, if you could fish anybody at water... Uh, I'm guessing that it says away from Ohio, where would you fish? <laughs> it won't be a lake, I'll tell you that right Well, now. actually, actually. What? Um, so there's three places that I, I really love. 
uh, to fish. Uh, one is the Mississippi River, mm -hmm. um, the James River, and well, the Tennessee, Tennessee River. Yeah. <laughs> but but uh, uh, Wilson Lake is good. Uh, you know, Wheeler. Wheeler. You know, I would put all those three or four kind of right there together. You know, um, but if I had to pick uh, one place James. that I could fish all year round in just one place, it would be somewhere on the Tennessee River, Wilson or Willer. And that's just because the fish bite there all year round. Yeah. Uh, I haven't been to the James, but I'm, we will give that a go. Yeah. And actually, I think you owe me a trip to the James River. Oh, boy. Yeah. He does. Yeah. <laughs> you can't see his feet, but he's wearing boots for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so Alan Dyke, what's that, Dyke Meyer? Dymar. Dymar. Catfish Pirates. Will any of your TV shows talk about the issues of commercial fishing, pay lakes, and how it's affecting trophy cats in public waters? So, uh, spoiler alert, yes, they will. Um, <laughs> you know, we, uh, I, I am very passionate about, you know, conservation and things. Yeah. So, you know, one of the shows, it, it does, it is, it is actually based in one of the hardest hit places. And, uh, it will be talking about you know the commercial fishing and uh, you know conservation and and things of that nature. Um, so so look forward to it. Uh, I'll, that'll be with somebody, one of my really really good friends that is just as passionate about it as I am. So he's happy to hear that. Uh, Creole Catfishing says, "Remember, I got you covered in the Mississippi. I can introduce you to Louisiana food and ruin your diet." Oh boy! <laughs> hey, that uh, that's going to happen. That's gonna happen, uh, Louisiana. Uh, I want to get, I want to suck the, suck the rear end out of one of them crawdads. <laughs> Not the rear end, <laughs> the head. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> you know where they take them crawfish? They, they suck the head, not the rear end. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, uh, hey, take a lot of beer, hey. and you don't even drink. <laughs> no, I don't even drink. So if you like this format right here, this is something that I enjoy. Um, if you like this format and this is something you guys would like to see more of, please let me know. Um, you know, I enjoy it. I enjoy these two. So, uh, you know. Yeah, you know we were kind of wondering what's going on tonight when you said, come on over. Yeah. Huh. You know, <laughs> so makes it a little bit easier for people to watch and get information all the time. I guess. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's always fun getting together with these guys because we, we could probably do two or three hours on here. Yeah. How's you guys? I'm going to cut you off because you keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> what's your PB? Uh, my personal best is only 72, and I say only 72, and I, I, mean, I mean, that's a big fish. That, that is a great fish, uh, but, you know, for for years, I, I got told where I had to go fish. I got told, you know, what condition. you conditions. actually listened? Yeah. Like, that's surprising. Know, well, like, what body of water, yeah. you know, uh, because, you know, fishing tournaments, you had to go to that body of water when yeah. they had the tournament uh, schedule. Tournament. Um, so, you know, it's hard you know, to, it's hard to be at the right place at the right time. But with this show, uh, they're giving me the freedom yeah. to pick uh, where I want to go and when I want to go. So I am super excited about, especially season two of filming, to bring you guys some good fish. What's your PV on the Ohio River? Let's let's talk about home here. Like that, you caught a fifty-six last uh, year, flathead, flathead, yeah, fifty-six yeah. flathead, and uh, you know, uh, like right around. Uh, high 50s you know for blue cat cool so thank you guys we got a lot of a lot of positive feedback um for this format just kind of informal just yeah talking um i think we're covering a lot of questions this way um maybe sometimes uh, that you guys don't get time to to ask or uh, you know i'll tell you firsthand because um just meeting chris uh i shot and i still shoot messages to chris on his messenger um, you know, any questions that you guys don't, don't get to, or maybe I skipped over here tonight, uh, cause Chad has been flying pretty good. Um, you know, don't hesitate yeah. to, don't hesitate to hit him up. Hit me tell. up. Yeah, man. That's what it's about. This dude, this dude share. Yeah. He'll, I mean, he'll eat the butt out of a crawl dad too. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Uh, well, I tell you. He's uh, Chad too. <laughs> yeah, I eat Chad. Move, yeah. move away, Roger. <laughs> Uh, Hagen said, quick question to Chris, did the hooks we use change numbers? The only D85 I see is curved. The the one I see in bulk is a D84 and it looks like the but it looks like the right ones. So 
Well, that's a good question, Hagen. Uh, hmm. I haven't noticed that they changed. I just shared the link to a guy this weekend um, while I was at the Columbus Fishing Expo. So uh, I don't want to say for sure, but no, not that I'm aware of. Uh, and I will check, Hagen, and, and if it has or if I can find the link, um, I will send it to you. Uh, via social media. Is anybody going to have Daiichi hooks for sale down there that you know of? Um, I don't know, Tackle but uh, maybe, uh, for anybody that is interested in Daiichi hooks, uh, let Nate Davis know and, you know, because he is he is uh, interested. He's in the works of trying to get them, so express your want for Daiichi hooks there. Yeah, uh, yeah, Justin. I'm not even going to go there. What did he say? He said, I, I could catch a better fish if Roger would take me fishing. <laughs> hey, guy, that, I think that's that a good guy idea. Works as bad as, a long as Paul list. Bird, man, because that guy's always working. I'm like, hey, you want to go? Got to work. Hey, uh, you know, I think it's a good idea for him to take you fishing. I mean, <laughs> I have taken him fishing. I've put his daughter on. I think I don't know if it was it your daughter's personal best flathead or uh, I'm not sure. Nice. She did catch a flathead. Nice. In his defense, though, he pretty much gives all the. All the takedowns he gives to his daughter. So, and hey, that's good. Can't. That's I mean, what it's about, man. That's, kids out there, absolutely. Yeah, uh, so, uh, also, thanks for the compliments, guys. I know that Willie Willie said uh, it's nice to have somebody reading the comments. So, I was a sacrificial yeah. lamb tonight. Uh, <laughs> and and then uh, to be hey. honest, I, I sit at home and do the same thing when he goes live. Um, you know, Chris asked me uh, many moon ago if, if I would help. You know, kind of moderate, keep all the riffraff out of the chat and, and keep it family oriented and i've been how's that working <laughs> pretty good yeah, yeah we well we got we kind of not you know. when you bring him with us <laughs> <laughs> yeah and you know guys i don't give him enough credit uh give you know credit where credit's due yeah he, he's been working behind the scenes for yeah. a long time for a long time so I make sure we're really make sure good. you guys it's a job back for that i mean I've, I've done it a few times when we've been out on the boat with chris fishing and you know and try to read and give questions it's it's a job man yeah especially when you're like me and can't read <laughs> Where's that? I don't know which end of a crawfish either. We're gonna have to work with you, Chris. It's, it's a, good, it's good a wonder you've had the success you have. I know. <laughs> How's that working out? <laughs> I don't know if I could take everybody on the thirty-foot pontoon boat, but I could. I could jam her full. Hey, we, yeah. we yeah. can make a trip out of it. We get your remote lights and put them on there. <laughs> no for a record there's or there's or room something. for a disco ball and a pole and everything. I'll DJ it, man. There we go. <laughs> and you got the hair for a DJ. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Got a new dude. Hardly got a new haircut. That's all right. At least you got hair too cut. Yeah. yeah. If you guys, if you saw the picture of the thumbnail when we got ready to go, you should have seen the one before that when Chris is up there taking. <laughs> I was trying to mohawk what little bit of hair I had. <laughs> Chris, you're going to be at Catapalooza this year. Um, it is possible. Um, so, Extreme Bait Tanks is going to have a uh, a booth down there. So it is very very possible that I'll be there. I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to make it if we can. Uh, I'm actually gonna try to go down and fish uh, over there. So that sounds good. I was trying to get my wife to book our vacation right during cabin. <laughs> she did. Uh, she booked the cabin down there, but not that week. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's well, all right. Well, folks, what do you think? It's been yeah. fun. It's been fun. We, I got one done. question. We almost went an hour. <laughs> I got one question for both of you. I ask uh, some people this every interview that I done this weekend. Uh, at Columbus Fishing Expo, I asked this question. I'm going to ask you guys this question. All right. Harley, what is the number one thing that you would give to somebody new fishing as a tip? One thing. Tip. What would it be? Get the very best bait you can. Awesome tip. That's my tip. Roger? That was it, really. But That's it. Uh, We're in agreement there. People don't you know, realize how important that is. They say it goes in one ear and out the other and go leave it to you so uh my <laughs> my thing my thing is is there's there's a wealth of knowledge here for us on youtube you know that many of us didn't have when we were kids growing up or new starting out and uh tap into that tap into that knowledge because uh you know between us and and all the people out there on youtube and making videos there's so much information that'll give you a, a head start or a leg mm -hmm. up on uh on what it takes to to whatever your whatever your goal is, if your goal is to catch monster uh, channel cats or flatheads or blues, where the efficient lakes, ponds, boats, creeks, rivers, there's there's information out there. You just gotta seek it. You just so. gotta do it. You gotta do it. Well, hey, folks, I've really enjoyed tonight. It's been different. It's been fun. Yep. Uh, shared a lot of information with you guys. 
As always, if you have questions, make sure you hit me up on social media. Uh, make sure you go to Harley Neal on YouTube and Muskrat Adventures on YouTube, as well as Tennessee River Monsters, uh, Hagen Grubs. Um, There's so many. Good. You know, so many that you guys, uh, Dieter Melhorn, Catfish Dave, uh, you know. Chris Flores. Chris Catfish Flores. Catfish Carps. Jay Newell, regular dude. I mean, there is super, super amount of information on there. Yeah. Give them that thumbs up. Subscribe to them. Help them out. Let them yeah. know that you enjoy it. If you enjoyed the information we've done tonight, if you enjoyed this format like I did, and I think these two did, uh, give yeah. us that thumbs up. Let us know. And, uh, hey, till next week, we will catch you guys on the water. Tight lines. Yeet! Yeet! <laughs>